Allegations of fraudulent and illegal COVID testing taking place on Chicago's southwest side. A former employee turned whistleblowers filed a complaint with OSHA after she was fired for raising concerns. WGN's Mike Lowe live in the West Elson neighborhood with more. West Edison, I think it is, Mike. Uh, Micah and Ray, good evening to both of you. Cookies Smoke Shop is one of the businesses named in this OSHA complaint. Tonight, a former employee is detailing what she calls COVID testing fraud. I like to have pride in my work and to run a good place. 23-year-old Hannah Crawford took a job working at Cookie Smoke Shop near Curie High School last October. By December, as the Omicron wave of COVID-19 was surging, her bosses told her she'd been reassigned. Tomorrow, you will go to 5850 South Kedzie and you will just be doing COVID tests. She alleges the shop owners had opened a storefront COVID testing site next to their other smoke shop, Smoke for Less, on Kedzie and 59th in Gage Park. Oh, free COVID test that uh, we get $15 for? Perfect, you know, just another opportunity for a hustle. Less than a month later, she had filed a formal legal complaint with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. There were health and safety violations left and right throughout my entire experience. The OSHA complaint spells out what Crawford called questionable practices, saying insurance information frequently was not recorded on these forms. If you're not recording insurance information, uh, are they just charging it all to the government? Crawford says she requested PPE supplies, including KN95 masks, and was ignored. She alleges she was told her pay would be reduced, but that she would earn more on the commissions from tests. She was sent in to do these COVID tests with no training, never had to sign a single document. Outside of the shop, COVID tests are advertised as free, but Crawford says she was told she needed to start collecting at least 20 to $25 profit on the tests she performed due to the fact that the tests were obtained for $10. The guys kind of had a little glimmer in their eyes at the opportunity. The complaint filed by her lawyer, Nick Kreitman, calls the practice fraudulent, illegal, and exploitative of the community. Anytime you have a rollout of a big government program like this, you have a lot of opportunities for people to cheat the system. Crawford says she was fired after raising the concerns, and that's why she's speaking up. It's so, so, so unfair. Unfair and unjust. And the attorney for the smoke shop owners tonight declined to comment on these allegations. Reporting on the southwest side, Mike Lowe, WGN News.